I'm Maurice Eldridge, as many of you may know. I want to welcome you to this afternoon of celebration, one I never imagined I'd be hosting. I'm guilty of thinking a good thing would never end. Happily, the wonderful friendship forged with Al and Peggy over the last 18 years will endure and thrive no matter what the distance. And for all of us, their transformative and affirming impact on this college, this community, this culture will also endure and in fact ensure that the college will continue to thrive. We can look back at countless colossal accomplishments. The reinvigoration of the honors program, major new buildings, including the Science Center and two new dorms, new faculty, and a curriculum that has been developed intelligently to integrate critical areas such as film and media studies and Islamic studies. And as I say Islamic studies, I say, hmm, now I'm wondering whether he was somehow predicting his own future. We have a much more vitally diverse faculty and student body, but most importantly, we have who we are. Another thing that I appreciate about Al is that he's always been willing to meet with me and with my fellow students to explain things. I know that my journalistic colleagues at other campuses can't schedule an interview with the president on a few days' notice, and they also don't have a president who's interested in what they're doing back. And even after accumulating years and years of his own experience and wisdom as Swarthmore's president, he still managed to maintain a keen interest in interacting with students. As some examples, he and Peggy attended Primal Screen, at the dean's uh, office midnight breakfast. They hosted the RAs annually at their home. Um, and Al hosted a presentation on Swarthmore's finances that was well attended by students. I'm going to be brief and informal, but, I, but also I, I want to be serious uh, about Al and Peg and what I think they've contributed. There are going to be plenty of uh, monuments to Al's contribution to the college that are going to last for a long time. There are a lot of buildings. There are a lot of mahogany ceilings, espresso bars new programs. It's true you can get rid of a program more easily than you can get rid of a building, but at Swarthmore it seems like once a program is started it never goes away. Uh, we have a humongous endowment and believe it or not it will eventually return to its previous value. So these legacies of Al, these monuments to Al's achievements will be there as a constant reminder to people who haven't known him personally about the role that he played at the college. So thank you all, and thank you all for being here. 17 years and 11 days ago, I was inaugurated on a day just this beautiful. There was a mariachi band and a Chinese lion dance enriching that ceremony, just as there were wonderful taiko drummers enriching this. And I can tell you uh, that that time, that those 17 years and 10 days, 11 days, have been by far the most joyful and the most satisfying uh, in my life. Most joyful, fundamentally, because of how wonderful this community is, because of the support it offers, because of the respect that binds this community, students to staff, staff to faculty, staff to students, uh, and all to alums, and because of this community's intense sense of responsibility uh, and masterful, masterful delivery of what I truly believe, and here's my gushing, but it's not gushing, it's true, I truly believe is the finest, most transformative undergraduate education anywhere. And years that have been filled with satisfaction because of whatever I've been able to contribute, along with all of you, to those distinctive qualities of a Swarthmore education. I guarantee that no president has, have, has had better partners in the undertaking that he or she uh, ha has uh, tried to accomplish. I thank you for that partnership, and I thank you for the joy and the satisfaction of those years. See you all.